Binance. So excited, I could dance and Binance. Everybody, raise your hands and Binance. I can feel it in my pants and pants and pants and actually, it's Binance. So excited, I could dance and Everybody, raise your hands and I can feel it in my pants and pants and pants and Actually, it's Binance. GM Binance fans, in this one, we're taking a look at how Ethereum is going to scale on Solana potentially. So, two projects to look at here one with a token currently out and trading, and the other one potentially with a token coming early 2024. So, if you enjoyed this, make sure you do subscribe to the channel and let's jump in. So first off here, we have Neon EVM. So as the name would suggest, Neon EVM, Ethereum's virtual machine on Solana, allowing developers to scale ETH dApps directly using Sol. So this essentially brings solidity to the Solana eco. And they've been doing some really cool updates here that have caught my eye. It is kind of the first mover in this sector of having EVM on Sol. Things of note here, they have been implementing an alternative gas payments method. So you could pay essentially for transactions using tokens other than Sol. They've also got something interesting here, a retweet from Anatoly, who is of course the founder of Solana. He's been tweeting the mind-blowing emojis there for Solidity on Sol. So the guys over at Neon have been shipping some developer updates. They've also got a few like podcasts and things that have been super interesting to catch up with. I would highly suggest doing a bit of research on this, especially when the big man is tweeting them himself. Two recent additions here that have caught my attention were this, first and foremost, their partnership with Dbridge. So Dbridge is one of the bridges you will see on the Jupiter Bridge Aggregator. It usually is the cheapest. And if you go on there, you can literally port tokens from any chain to any other chain. Kind of reminds me of, say, Synapse or maybe even a layer zero would be an appropriate comparison to draw with this protocol. So Dbridge is definitely one to have eyes on and they've integrated here with Neon EVM. So of course, if you want to port a load of EVM apps, into Solana via Neon, they're gonna need some strong bridging infrastructure. So these guys could be an integral part to the next leg up for Neon. Quick statement here, Neon and Dbridge have joined forces to revolutionize how dApps interact with assets, whether on Solana or EVM natives. Dbridge's pioneering solution redefines the possibilities of cross-chain interoperability and high performance scalability. Their three solutions are Dport, which is their asset custody. So one-click asset transfer there, debridge the data transfer. This enables the likes of cross-chain messaging. And then thirdly, DLN, standing for D-Swap Liquidity Network, which states they allow assets to be traded without having them in a walled garden of a liquidity pool. This kind of sounds to me like a layer zero similar tech where you can trade native asset for native asset on different chains. So I think this is one that could be a sleeper as well. Debridge, a very interesting partnership. We also have Neon with their first dApp live on mainnet, which is Lever Fi. Anyone who was around in 2021, we caught Ramp DeFi back then and it ran some big multiples. Ramp rebranded to Lever and it seems they have a grant here for leverage trading on the Neon EVM. The highlight on there, Neon EVM is proud to be part of Lever Fi's journey to revolutionize the DeFi landscape and usher in a new era of prosperity. Prosperity via leverage trading is the name of the game for Leverify, formerly Ramp DeFi. So we obviously know that leverage trading is a very big industry. The investors behind Leverify, the likes of Parify, Arrington, Signum Capital, some big names on that cap table there. I've checked out the DAP, seen what it's all about. Seems interesting, not a huge ton of volume on there as of yet. You can stake as well the Leverify token for some pretty decent APYs, so one to keep an eye on there. But overall, what I can see is this network is developing and they're starting to get apps to come across. They have a bit of a grants program as well, which obviously helps as you need to incentivize people to move across, especially if you're getting people from mainnet onto Sol. You're probably gonna get some dirty looks from other ETH developers, but if you want a high throughput environment, it makes a lot of sense to be deploying on somewhere like Neon. So I think this could be a bit of a narrative that we see in the markets, especially as ETH cannot scale. I paid like 40, 50 bucks to stake a few tokens on mainnet just the other day and thought to myself, I do not wanna be doing this any longer. So that is the Neon chart on screen here. You can see these 
huge wicks to the upside, which just shows you that people have been aping in big clips into quite an illiquid environment. And the chart is just pushing on up nice and slowly here. Neon did get 40 mil in terms of a raise, which highlights to me the fact that this is in a narrative that is likely to be very trendy. The likes of Jump with their VC arm there, Solana Capital and even 3AC named in there, raising that $40 million. In terms of token, most of the tokens have not vested out yet, so there will be a lot of inflation to come. But as you can read from the table here, everything has a one year cliff. And the token mint for this was around the first week of July. I think it's around the 7th of July. And so no tokens are coming out until mid of next year. So at this point, it's quite a low float token. Thus, any big buy pressure, any big announcements likely to tick this thing on up higher, in my opinion. The only unlocks was the Coinlist ICO. These guys got in at 10 cents. Of course, it's trading around a 5x multiple from that right now. But all those tokens have been unlocked. That was roughly 5%. And some of the treasury has been utilized for centralized exchange listings. But going through here on SolScan, as you can see from the percentages here, 30%, 20%, sixes, all of these, apart from the Bybit wallet, the Gate.io wallet, all of these are still locked and they will be locked for a full year. So most of the tokens I calculate at least 85%, maybe even up to 90% of tokens are currently not circulating and won't until July next year. So according to my calculations, rough estimate there, I've just plugged in 15% of supply, 150 million tokens, bring us to a rough estimated market cap of somewhere around $75 million. And the chart, as you can see, looks pretty good. So if we are to see Ethereum developers port over into a Solana based EVM compatible environment. Neon at this moment in time is the first choice. There is the potential as well for Neon to actually just start forking the likes of maybe an Aave, Compound, etc., and making their own versions on Neon as well and competing with them. So quite a few narratives in my mind where this could go. Let's move on to the second project. So the second one here does not currently have a token. It's called Eclipse, branding themselves as Ethereum's fastest L2, which is just behind my head, powered by the Solana Virtual Machine. So this is super interesting due to the setup behind this. So they're actually utilizing not only Solana, but also Celestia and ETH mainnet for their overall settlement of transactions. A layer two built for the future, superior speed, security, and scalability. So this has some serious backers, Polychain, Tribe, and supporters as well, the likes of Celestia, Eigenlayer, and the Solana Foundation themselves. So this one, when token does come out, I'm not sure exactly when the token will come out but it is one to have on the radar and really try and value up in terms of the other competition in the l2 space i do think a lot of the l2s will just drag capital from each other and maybe we'll start to see a lot of the l2s priced similarly in the market these of course have a bit of a unique selling point in terms of the way they're doing things they raised 15 mil to build a universal layer two, as it states down here. Those are the co-founders, Sam and Neil. And if we just scroll down, nine mil seed round, led by Tribe Capital and a six mil pre-seed led by Polychain there. So 15 mil has been raised already. Apparently it raised at a nine figure valuation. So that is a hundred mil plus. May also be worth looking for testnet environments and that kind of stuff to actually play on this. So I'll keep up to date with all the Twitter announcements, etc. because if there is to be an airdrop, not sure if they would go down that route, but in my mind, if that is a possibility, I would be looking to play on said testnet as we've seen a real uptick in airdrops as of late. So they state Eclipse is a customizable rollup provider that is compatible with multiple layer one blockchains and the platform enables developers to deploy their own rollup powered by the Solana operating system using any chain for security or data storage. And this was quite an interesting quote from Neil Samani. Well, like a universal L2, Solana, Sui, Aptos are fast, but they don't offer enough throughput to enable on-chain anything too computationally intensive like machine learning. And as we know, machine learning, that kind of AI vibe has been very bullish. So they could be tapping into multiple narratives. Eggy Yoke with a post here. All in all, we can see that Eclipse is building a parallelized L2 solution with the use of SVM to execute an ETH for validation and settlement. So as you can see from this diagram, you have Eclipse's SVM, so the Solana virtual machine for the execution to take full advantage of the speed and throughput. They would use Celestia for data availability, a brand new narrative to the market with their modular architecture. And the end goal would be to have all the bridging and settlement finalized to 
ETH. So you have the security of ETH, DA of Celestia, and the speed of the SVM. Sounds like a very good cocktail. A bit of a Frankenstein of an L2, if you will, but I could see that could just hit very many key narratives in the market there. And so I would be looking for if this token does launch at a decent valuation to be getting a bit of a fill on this one. And if we just quickly look at the L2s listed on CoinGecko here, we have Polygon leading the race with the ZK EVM implementation. Market cap is $7 billion. Then we have a whole host of projects here, two through five here, IMX, Optimism, Mantle, and Arbitrum, all around one to two bill. I mean, these next two here, the likes of a loop ring and scale just behind where my head is, they're roughly around $250 million in market cap respectively there. So we can kind of price up that we have the kind of top tier projects here, battling out between one to multiples of billions. Maybe Eclipse will get into this kind of bucket straight out the gates. And maybe those would be some good price points to be trying to get in your mental model towards. So if it were to launch at say a few hundred mil market cap only maybe there would be some room to move up higher for eclipse and then the likes of neon i think it should be kind of competing with these third tier ones down here the likes of loop ring and scale not huge amounts of usage but they are good networks they are scalable some pretty good tech behind them but i do feel like a lot of these solana crossovers with eth will be a narrative play so these are around 250 mil. And as we saw Neon, current market cap circulating until at least July of next year, 150 mil tokens, currently 75 mil market cap. So potentially in my mind, if this was to do another 2X, for example, get up to a dollar per coin, maybe even a bit higher, maybe two bucks, I think that would be fairly pricing it according to some of the third tier projects out there in the layer two races. So I suggest following these projects on Twitter, sticking on the notifications as well to keep up to date with how things are progressing here, because I think these are potential narratives in the market that will take shape over the coming months as people realize, as more people enter the market, ETH cannot scale. Hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.